All right, hey guys, it's Pete Steen here with another caddis pattern. And this is gonna be a buyout body CDC caddis. So I'm gonna use a fire hall 419 in a size 12. And I'm gonna start my thread about a third of the way down the hook and take wraps down to the bend for the body I'm using a a barred turkey biot from Nature Spirit and you can soak these if you want. I just stick them on my tongue for a second in my mouth, get them wet. And I'm tying this with the notch down. And you can tie it with the notch up or down. It just depends on the way you start to wrap it. Because I want the... I want to create a segmented... body with this. So I'm going to just take a titch of zap a gap. These things are a little fragile. Move it out with my bodkin. Go ahead and grab this with your hackle pliers. And the way I, when I rotate this, I've got that trailing edge of the viot, which is going to create a that raised end, which creates a segmented look to the body. A couple wraps to secure it and then just clip it off. a little dubbing ball with some super fine dubbing. This is a cinnamon caddis color. And this is really just to prop up the wing. So I'm going to take a couple of CDC feathers and line up the tips and stroke those, stroke all those fibers back. I want this to go just about to the into the hook. This will roll on you. So I'm going to put a couple wraps, snug wraps, and lift it up, put a wrap on the bear hook, and then now it's not going to move. Go ahead and clip those off. Cover up those butts. For the hackle, I'm going to use a waiting farm honey done. 
and already stripped a few extra fibers on the leading edge. So go ahead and tie that in. Trim that off. Now we can wrap our hackle. wraps and then before you even clip that off preen those fibers back put in a couple of wraps and then you can whip finish do one more off your thread and then clip off the hackle and that's your bio body CDC caddis.